Today I'm working on another marker drawing in my sketchbook. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an online website building platform that allows you to do everything you need all in one place. So I've been working at the cafe that I found last month. I've also started a new sketchbook, which is the B paper marker sketchbook. And so I've been using a lot of Copic markers and colored pencils mostly. Not sure how I feel about it yet. For markers, it's really good. The paper is pretty thick and the markers don't really bleed to the next page. They do show on the back, but I don't think there's any paper where it doesn't show on the back really, except maybe the render paper. But this one is pretty good. It takes some getting used to, especially for me. I usually work with pen in a textured watercolor sketchbook. So my pens don't really work the same on this really smooth paper. And I feel like it's a very big change to get used to for me. I, my lines are not as smooth as they usually are. And it's really hard to sketch for some reason. So I'm still getting used to it. You might be able to tell in this drawing. <laughs> But I have really been wanting to draw Sailor Moon like all the time lately. I grew up watching it like a lot of us did and the first people I learned to draw were Sailor Moon. Um, I think I didn't stop drawing Sailor Moon from the age of like 6 through 12 probably. So I know most of their costumes and everything by heart. But I really want to do a lot more drawings with them. I don't know if I've showed a lot of my marker sketching process with you guys, but usually I'll start with a red pencil to sketch with. A big part of my process is the red pencil because even though it doesn't erase very well, it does blend in very well with the marker and it doesn't smear and make everything gray like a regular graphite pencil would. So when you're drawing people, I think the red pencil really works well with the skin tone and everything like that. Um, it is harder to erase, so some of the areas that aren't skin tone might be a little weird looking, but um, I think it looks a lot better than graphite, in my opinion. One of my favorite things is coloring the marker over the red pencil, especially on the face. So once I get the sketch down, um, I could try to erase some of the lines that are too messy, um, but usually I don't really do that, especially in the sketchbook. It doesn't really matter. And the next step really depends on the type of pens that you're using. Um, normally with watercolors and markers, it's safer to just put down your color before inking the outlines, just in case your pen is something that bleeds with water or markers. Um, it's just easier to put color down first, but sometimes it's weird because your lines might not be, uh, like finalized yet, so you don't know how far to color, but that's easy to fix, I think. So for this first sketch, I did it markers first and then inked it, but for the Sailor Moon drawing, I did it the other way around. Luckily, the pen I used does not bleed with the markers all the time. Sometimes it does, but uh, this time it didn't. On this particular day, I didn't really eat very much before drinking a bunch of caffeine in the milk tea. So my lines are super shaky. It was really hard to stabilize when I was pulling the really long lines, but I don't really care. Um, it is my sketchbook, and I could always edit it later if I wanted to. So one of the best tips I can give for coloring with markers is to divide your space into smaller sections. Maybe utilize the shadows that will occur on the drawing and keep your seams in those shadows. I'm going to call where you overlap the color seams because sometimes it ends up darker when you color over the same spot twice. So just make those darker spots land within somewhere that might be shaded. And then you can go back and shade a little bit more with the same color. It gets a little bit darker when you overlap it. And if you're like me, I don't like 
using a lot of the ink when I'm coloring, but if you don't mind using a lot of ink, uh, if you just keep layering your color, it'll come out smoother. Um, but I always try to stick to one layer and two in the shadows. If you want to blend any of your colors, I would end up using two markers at once and kind of switch between the two because you want to work quickly and keep it wet because it'll blend easier once it's while it's still wet. Once it dries, it's really hard to blend. But yeah, I feel like working with markers is really just trial and error and you just get better with time, with practice.
Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an online website building platform that I've been using for about five years now. It's really great for small businesses because it lets you purchase your domain and even have an online shop right there within your website. I switched over my shop to Squarespace and I have it on my website now. It has been the best decision I've made for my business so far. It's so easy to use. Squarespace links with other shipping companies like ShipStation, which is what I use, and everything is streamlined. I don't have to email customers for tracking. I don't have to do anything like that. It all just works together and it's so convenient. One of the best things about Squarespace is how beautiful their templates are. I was so surprised when I set up my website the first time because they had all of these really great templates to choose from. And then once I picked one of them, it was so easy for me to just plug in all of my info, upload videos and images. You can pull from your social media feed and you can have everything linked. Your website works as a central hub for anybody who's looking at your work and Squarespace makes it look really great. One of my favorite things is that you can have all of your social media posts from different platforms feed to your website so that if you have a customer or a fan who's looking at your website and maybe they don't have a Twitter account, they can go to your website to see all of that content in one place. So Squarespace has a free trial. If you want to check it out, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline and get 10% off your first purchase. There will be more information and a link in the description. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I had so much fun working on this piece. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be uploading a real-time version of this on my Patreon, which I just opened up. But yeah, you can check out my Patreon if you want to see extra videos every month and maybe even get a postcard or a sticker every month. You can also join the Discord. I am super excited about it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!